Hello, my name is Steve Collins. I'm the Behavioral Health Manager at the Center for Human Services. We're a treatment partner with Stanislaus County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services. And we're here to bring you some tips for health and well-being during these challenging times. So here we go, tip number one. Tip number one is to maintain consistent routine and structure throughout your day for you, for the kids. Uh, research has clearly indicated that when there is a consistent structure, like meal times, sleeping patterns, uh, daily activities, it is, it is really good for you, both emotionally, physically. So maintain that daily routine. Tip number two, you know, even though we're social distancing, it is still really nice to go outside every now and then. Of course, you want to do it in a safe manner, social distance, but it's okay to take a bike ride around the block or to go for a family walk, just getting some fresh air. My son, who does not typically enjoy walks, but he's been inside for a couple of weeks, we went for a family walk and the thing he was most grateful for was just the fresh air. So yes, go outside, exercise, go for a walk, uh, whatever you do, do of course with social distancing and being safe. Uh, tip number three, maybe instituting a family game time. You know, that could be doing puzzles. It could be uh, reading together. It could be uh, a board game. It could be a video game. We played Mario Kart the other night. Um, just, I would say, take turns letting someone throughout the family choose. It could be a really special time. It might even be a tradition you already have or it might be even a tradition that you start starting now. Um, last thing, um, it's, it's basically to be patient with one another. Not all of us are our best selves right now with the stress and the pressures going on. So it's just to be patient with one another, extend a little bit of grace. Um, take the time to listen, listen to your family, listen to your friends. Being heard is incredibly important and people just feel, when they feel heard, they feel valued and they emotionally, they feel better. Um, lastly, I wanna leave you with this. I have just been relearning these lessons from my childhood hero, uh, Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And what Mr. Rogers teaches us during times like this, during challenging times, it's to look for the helpers. You know, there are absolutely tragedies um, and crises going around us but I want to encourage you during these times, there are also just amazing displays of human generosity and kindness and giving. And during these times, focus, turn your focus to those and allow it to encourage you uh, and nourish your spirits.